Three days away, but a lot of people are already thinking about Black Friday and the rest of the holiday season. Capital One reports Americans spend more than $955 billion in 2024 and expect shoppers to spend more than $980 billion in retail sales this year. Tyler Melito is live at Fayette Mall with how you can avoid financial headaches this time of year. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Krista and Paul. And according to that same Capital One report, the average American will spend roughly $1,600 this year during the holiday season. That includes money on gifts, on travel, and other entertainment. If you just look at gifts, it's still a hefty price tag. The average American spending roughly $1,000, which is why local financial advisors and wealth advisors are suggesting everyone plan accordingly for this holiday season. And the chief tip among all the ones they'll give is to have a budget. Know how much you want to spend overall and also list out the people you want to get gifts for this holiday. This will allow you to determine what you want to get for each person and determine if you could do potentially a personalized gift for that person that requires you to spend little to nothing. From there, some other pieces of advice to be mindful of are if you plan on shopping online, put those items in your digital shopping cart. This will allow you to then monitor various sales to ensure you get the best price possible. Also, many companies will offer price match guarantee, so use that tool as well in order to get the best deal. And then lastly, exercise patience. It is so important, especially with some of those more expensive items like a car or an appliance. While it may seem like a quote unquote great deal, experts say by taking a night to sleep on it can bring some clarity when making those big financial decisions. Now, unfortunately, not everyone will come out of the holidays unscathed financially, but don't worry, there are some things you can do. If you're swiping money on credit cards, a lot of those credit cards will give you cash back, right? Um, so maybe not using that cash back every single month, but you can allow that to accumulate and build up so that you know for the peak holiday season, we're going to be spending a lot of money for gifts and different things throughout the holiday season. You can use that cash back to help go towards that larger bill than maybe you were anticipating. Another tip when paying off those bills with that credit card, pay it off in full if you can. That will avoid you having to pay those high interest rates that come if you don't pay off that bill in full in time. Now, according to AAA, since 2021, there's been roughly a 3 million American increase in the number of travelers. So if that trend continues in 2024, you can expect more than 118 million Americans traveling this holiday season. So coming up in the next hour, I'll have some tips on how you can make sure that your holiday travel and your dream vacation does not end in financial heartbreak. Live in Lexington, Tyler Melito, Fox 56 News.